Hey there guys, my name is Marcus and in this video I'm going to compare Klaviyo with MailChimp. The first thing I'm going to talk about is like if I actually recommend these email marketing softwares then I will talk about the pricing plans and then I will get the main features and some advantages and disadvantages I personally see. I'm not paid by Klaviyo or MailChimp to say one is better comparing to the other, use that or that one. I'm just going to give you my honest review. What I think is that Klaviyo is like MailChimp on steroids for e-commerce. That's the, that's the beautiful definition of Klaviyo that I read somewhere and I completely agree. If you're looking for advanced automations, really good autoresponder, go with the Klaviyo. I will show it to you with automations and the flows they have. Now, MailChimp is all right, but it was really great two, three years ago. Right now, comparing to MailRite, SendingBlue and others and also Klaviyo, they're just dominating MailChimp. And also I have really good statistics for that. So let's start first with the pricing plans. Now pricing plans, they are both expensive comparing to others or like MailJet, SendingBlue, MailRite. These email services are expensive. So let's say that you want to have an email list size of 5,000 people, right? You're going to pay $100 in Klaviyo. On MailChimp, if you would go with the 5,000 people, you would get $80 at standard version, which is like enough. And on premium, you would pay 300. When we talk about the free version of both of these tools, first, free MailChimp account offers you 2,000 subscribers, but Klaviyo offers you only, let me show it's right here, 500 emails maximum and 250 contacts. So Klaviyo, I would start with the Klaviyo. You can open both of these accounts, like if one is better comparing to the other and see it by yourself. But in my opinion, Klaviyo is better, but yes, a little bit more expensive. And I will show you exactly why I would go with the Klaviyo. The first thing is that when you would go to flows, comparing to the automations on uh, MailChimp, you got MailChimp, you can connect activity, shopping activity, buy an abandoned card, and it's like, okay, but Clavio, it just goes deep with the welcome series, bros abandon, customer thank you, product review, cross sell, customer win back. Plenty of people are saying that they jumped from MailChimp to Clavio to test the automations and workflows and they were heavily satisfied. So when I even go to abandon card on Clavio, right here, it's simple, right? When you connect your store from Shopify, big commerce, what Etsy, whatever, it will out, it's just beautiful how it works. Wait for hours, you left something behind. So you get this also template that you don't have that well on MailChimp and it's just great. So this is just a huge win for Klaviyo in my opinion. Yes, in both of these tools you can create newsletters, pop-up forms, etc. But I'm not going to talk about it because this, these things in my opinion are just basics what you can actually do. Also, when you would go here on Klaviyo, you can also create the templates here and play around it and use drop, drag and drop system, which is simple. On MailChimp, you can do it too. I mean, in that way, it's not that different. Now to go even further of what other people think about it, what other reviews, when you would go to MailChimp, people are heavily dissatisfied with MailChimp and how it works. So bad reviews, 267 reviews and plenty of people are dissatisfied with the customer support and how it works and that is like quite bad and i mean this is something you need to think about if you're going to use mailchimp that is not that great and plenty of people were saying that the delivery rate of mailchimp is going downhill so you can also read that on reddit and i mean that's pretty much it so to summarize this whole video i would go definitely with clavio only because of advanced advancement automations and what you can actually do for your e-commerce store. If you're looking for a blog or something like that, I wouldn't choose Klaviyo or MailChimp. I would definitely go with a Sending Blue, MailRite, etc. So thank you very much everybody for watching and have a great day and goodbye. See ya.